Hello friends, welcome to your own channel on artificial intelligence and machine learning. We are learning SQL programming. In our last session, we learned about the concept of indexes, clustered index and non-clustered index. In this session, we are going to learn about generated columns. This is a topic which very few people probably know about despite having worked in SQL programming for a long time. What is generated columns? As the name suggests, the columns which are generated, the columns which derive their values from other columns are called generated columns. There are two types of generated columns, virtual and stored. When we create a generated column and we say it is virtual, what it means is the value of that column is actually not stored in the table. The value for that column is evaluated at the time of execution of the query. And if we create a generated column as stored, in that case, the value of the column is stored in the table when you perform an insert or an update action. Let's quickly jump to an example so that you understand the concept of generated column. Let me run a query first. Select star from student underscore batch mapper. So here you can see there is a column student ID batch ID and then student batch ID. Let me drop this column because I created it. I executed this query beforehand. So let me drop that column. I have the drop syntax also probably. Okay, it's not there. Alter table table name. Drop column. Column name. What is that column? Student underscore match underscore ID. Okay. Okay, now I have dropped it once again. Let me run this select query and show to you. Okay, this is the table that we had created in our previous session where we have ID as a primary key, student ID and batch ID together is unique. What we created, unique key, and then we have these columns. Okay. Now, I want to create a column student batch ID. This column does not exist in the given table. So I will alter the table. It is not that you can create a generated column only as alter table. You can always create generated column when you are creating the table itself. Now in our case, we have the table, but we don't have this column. So we are doing alter table. Okay. Alter table, table name, add column student batch id where care generated always as now here what are we doing we are saying that this column would be a concatenation of student id and batch id columns and i'm giving the keyword virtual which means the value for this column would be generated at run time it would not be stored in the table itself. I have added one more clause after. What I'm saying that this column, it should not get created at the end. It should be created after the batch ID column. So we run this syntax. Having run this syntax, let me have this select 
come here. You can see the student batch ID column is coming right after batch ID. I did not run update syntax. If you would have just created a column by default, all value in that column would be null. But here because we said it is a generated column and the logic for the value in that column was given as a concat function, you see the values are automatically populated. So this is a example of generated column. Okay, now what I can do, I can take this query. Let me first drop the column once again. I'll run this query, drop column. Okay, I've executed drop. I'll run this query, select star. The generated column is no longer there. Okay. Now the same syntax which I have here, alter table. Only thing is instead of virtual, I'll use the word stored. When you use the word stored for a generated column, the value for that column will be calculated at the time of insert and update. And because now we are creating this column for the first time, the value will also get auto populated. Okay, which means it will get stored automatically the moment we run this add column syntax. I execute this syntax. Okay, the query is executed. And once again, I run this select star. And you can see the value is populated. This is an example of generated column. There are two ways. One is virtual, second is stored. Now when we are creating these generated columns, only thing that you have to know is you cannot use non-deterministic function. For example, I want to create a column age as on date. I want to create this age as on date saying that what is the age of the given student today. So here I would like to know time step difference date of birth and now. Now this now is actually a non deterministic function because the value of this function will keep changing every second. If I now run this query. I get an error expression of generated column age as on date contains a some message is there but what that message says that in short the a disallowed function now because the value of this is not deterministic it keeps changing but if I would have written the syntax let's say I put it today's date 11 20 and now I run this query this query has executed successfully and we will have an age as on date column and the age of all the students as on this date gets calculated so this is what we have on the concept of generated columns. If you have watched all the videos so far, right from the beginning, you would have learned DDL create alter drop while creating the various constraint null, not null, primary key, unique key, foreign key, check, default, auto increment, the concept of indexes, index, clustered, non-clustered and let me also write here B tree. I've explained B tree. Alter table add modify rename after 
add a column modify a column rename a column drop a column all of this is what we have covered so far with this we have completed almost most of the important things that you should know as part of ddl syntax i hope you have liked the videos so far and if you have liked the videos then may i request you to press the hit the like button thank you this is a very small ask from my side for the effort which i am putting to create all of these content so request you to like share and subscribe to the channel thank you in next session we will be discussing dml syntaxes data manipulation syntaxes see you in our upcoming video recording